Hi, it's your coach, Joe Lucas. Welcome to your Practice Power Daily Coaching Minute. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to the 8th of uh, April. I hope you had a great weekend. And you know, on weekends, I do a lot of uh, personal development reading. And you know, a lot of times, uh, people ask me, hey, what do you read? What, what, do, what am I uh, listening to, so to speak? And yes, I read research and registered rep and financial planning and all the quote unquote industry trades, if you will. And look, every once in a while, I think you find some good, something good in there. Um, but I like to read like Inc. and Entrepreneur and Success Magazine and, and Wired and Fast Company and, and things that have got nothing to do with our industry. And, and a lot of times people say, well, why would you want to do that? Since you just coach financial advisors, wouldn't you want to just stay in that, in that realm? And, and my answer is no. And the reason why I say that is when you just kind of read what everybody else, is, what everybody else reads and kind of listen to what everybody else listens to and, and you do what everybody else does, how do you become unique? How do you really sit there and, and create something, a business, a practice model that's unique, that's preeminent, if you will? And, you know, if you've got 100 advisors in the room and they're all basically doing the same thing, ev eventually it comes down to two things, likability and fees. And that's what we want to be very, very, very careful about. So I encourage you to kind of get outside the box and, and expand your mental diet by, you know, look, I think Success Magazine is just brilliant. I think Entrepreneur Magazine is brilliant. And look, whether you like it or not, you're an entrepreneur. Unless you've got a guaranteed salary and you're told when to show up and when to leave, guess what? You own your own business. Welcome to being an entrepreneur like the rest of us. So I want you to give us some thought today. Let's make sure that we uh, also have reviewed our monthly game plan. We're very clear on what we want to accomplish uh, this week. Right? Let's have a strong tactical week, uh, the second week here in April. And uh, let's just... Do what we need to do to have a great second quarter. So review your monthly game plan. Make sure you're very clear on what you need to do, whether you're doing a weekly game plan or if you're just working on creating daily game plans. Let's make sure you're focused. We're tracking everything, right? We have our stats. So welcome to the second week of April. Have a great Monday. I'll see you tomorrow.